hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be basically doing another nail set for you guys using some poly gel so i'm starting off with my nail prep of course and here i'm just using a ball bit just because i've been doing my nails quite a bit recently so i want to be quite gentle otherwise i usually use like my other um flame a bit or sometimes i use my little um i think it's called a tangent steel bit so that's usually what I like to use, but today I'm using a more gentle one. The e-file I'm using is one from Macart. It's the JD700 e-file and it's my favorite. And I've got a discount code, Nails by Camin, which will save you 15% off the Macart website. So if you do want to use that, it will be linked down below. And I've also put it on screen for you guys. So once I am happy with my nail prep, I am going to just remove any of that excess skin. I didn't have too much this time, again, because I've just been doing my nails quite a bit recently, so I just don't have a lot of skin there, but just make sure that you remove all of that skin because it looks kind of messy when the nails are done and also you want to prevent that lifting. So today I'm actually using a brand called Glow Tips. I've done a review on some of their poly gels and gel polishes before so i'm really looking forward to using products from this brand again today i'm using um, some of their gel polishes which um, i thought would be amazing for the upcoming spring season so before we get into the design you want to protect your nails with some base coat this is their base coat and i just want to say i really love um, the glow tips packaging i think it's really unique and i really love the square look on the bottle and also the little design that they've got going on with the little gradient i think that's really really cute so that's really nice so to stick on my tips, I'm going to be using the base coat just because it's easier to get on there and also I find that with base coat I can soak off my nails easier or even if I apply a peel off base, they just pop off a lot easier so it saves me time and it's not as harsh on my natural nails. So that's why I like to do it like that. So as you can see, I'm just putting on some base on the tip and placing the nail tip on top and then just curing that under the lamp then i'm just doing a thin layer of base coat all over the nail just to seal everything together and kind of help minimize that little edge where the fake tip meets the natural nail so i like to do that and it also helps to create a nice sticky base for the poly gel that i we're going to apply in a minute So for my slip solution today, I'm using the Macart Slip from their pink poly gel kit or also from their Bling poly gel kit. I did a review so I'm not too sure what it's called but I will link that down below. It's a really nice kit. And going in with the Glow Tips pink poly gel, this is a really nice um, light pink blush colour and I feel like it does suit many skin tones. It's a very versatile colour. And the formula of this product is very nice and easy to work with i would say it's a little bit more on the softer side which i actually kind of like but it's not too soft to the point where it kind of starts to slip around and move in places where you don't want it to be so i really like that about this poly gel and the brush i'm using is um from macart as well but it's i couldn't find my glow tips brush but they have a really really nice brush with um like crystals in the handle and it's really really nice and different it's like a clear kind of brush so i've never seen that before so i thought that was really cool but sorry i couldn't find it for this video but it is really really nice so that's my kind of nude color down and i'm also taking their clear poly gel to fill in the rest you want to make sure that when you apply the clear it kind of levels to the pink 
whilst keeping the structure of the nail you don't want it to be too thick and of course because this is poly gel you can always remove like the excess product you don't have to keep it on there which is what i actually did for this nail i did remove some with my spatula and then i just cured that for 60 seconds in my sun x uv light and then i'm just repeating that process on all of the other nails so i like to get the cuticle area nice and flat first and i just push it right up and then i just turn my brush a bit so i can get the side walls nice and flat but also thin enough to the point where it's not going to lift and it's going to look nice and flush and it will also help me save my filing time so um, just remember to keep that cuticle area nice and thin if it's too thick then you are probably using too much product or you're not patting the poly gel down enough so just make sure to keep checking that and just remove any excess product if you have to and if you do want to save some money off this amazing brand and it's still really affordable you can use my discount code camin10 for 10 percent off their website i think this is an affiliate code i'm not too sure i don't remember but if you guys want to save some money off you can definitely use it and they also have like a bunch of other products on their website like some gel polishes um some more variety of poly gels um they've got a really good top top coat and a base coat especially the top coat which i really like and i try to save for my um um for the nail designs i like to keep on so yeah this brand has some really good stuff on their website so do check them out they will be linked down below as well as my discount code for them So this nail design was inspired by someone on Instagram. I saw this and immediately just thought I had to try it. It looks so simple and cute and so perfect for spring that I really wanted to try it out. So I will link them down below. I will also try to have it on screen if I can, um, but otherwise it will be linked down below. And it's basically this cute kind of spring design with some tiny flowers. And I thought the gel polishes I had for this brand would be like perfect for this because I believe that this is like their summer slash almost spring collection I think but either way the colors are perfect for spring and also for summer so I thought this would work really well with this nail design. Also if you're currently enjoying this video then please don't forget to hit the like button it would really help me out and I really appreciate your support and you watching my videos so please don't forget to do that and if you really like to see some nail content that i post on here i usually do mostly poly gels i do reviews and i do acrylic as well then definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm trying my best to do frequent uploads every week so thank you to everyone who's been patient with me so if you would like to subscribe, I would really like you to come and join my small YouTube channel here on YouTube. I would really appreciate you. And don't forget to say hi in the comments. I would really love to hear from you.
And in this video, I just felt like I needed to do a bit more smoothing. So I'm using my super fine bits um, from McCart and I'm just going over some of the nails to just further smooth them out. I think it was because the clear wasn't as flush to the pink as I wanted it. So I kind of just used that bit to help me achieve that look. So now that we're finally done with our shaping, filing and buffing, I'm removing that dust super well. I also like to wash my hands sometimes when I feel like there's too much dust, but today it wasn't too bad. So I'm just using my rubbing alcohol. You can also use um, some acetone or like I said, just wash your hands as well. And I'm just making sure to remove all that dust really, really well, especially around the cuticle area where the dust can really sit in those crevices. So just make sure you do that. Then going in with the no wipe top coat from glow tips again i really love this top coat it's like such a good formula it's nice and thick and it's super shiny and long lasting so yeah definitely check out this top coat if you're looking for a good one and it's super affordable as well so i will have that linked down below And I like to top coat my nails before my nail design just because it helps me create a nice smooth base before I go in with my gel polish, which you will see me do in a minute. So um, you don't have to do this, but I find that I usually get an easier application of whatever gel polish I'm going to do on top. So this is optional, but I do recommend that you do it. And I didn't show it, but I did top coat the underneath of the nail, especially since I have like a clear bit at the tip so I thought that it would really help them look super clear by just top coating that. So here are the shades I'm using. These aren't the complete summer collection. This is just some of them. I believe I have about five or six here um, but there are more shades in the collection. These are just some that I picked and here are their names. And I'm just applying that to my really used up crusty leaf palette, which I really need to replace or at least clean up because I don't know, that gel polish on there, it just would not come off. So if you know um, some ways in which I can get that all off in the comments, please let me know because it's just not working right now. And I'm just applying a blob of that to my palette. And basically it's a really simple and beginner friendly design. You can just use your dotting tool. Here I'm using a really tiny sized one. And I'm just creating four or five dots in like a circle and it basically creates a flower. It's that simple. You don't have to do like any intricate line work with like a fine liner or anything. You just use a dotting tool, create a couple dots and you've got yourself a cute flower. And I'm just going to repeat this with all the shades. And this blue shade was probably my most favorite out of all of them. I don't know what it is about these sky blue shades, but they're just so, I don't know, I just love them so much. They're just so nice and bright and they're just beautiful shades. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite shade. For me, it definitely has to be the blue and then the green. Let me know down in the comments. I also want to mention that I have some um, McCart heart themed kind of nail decorations that I got kind of late. I was hoping I could use them for Valentine's Day. However, since that's passed, I'm wondering if you guys still want to see a video on that. Um, I know some people might be doing Valentine's Day late or um, maybe this week or the next. So um, it could still be a good video idea. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. 
So next I'm just going in with some yellow. This is Lemon Juice from Glitter Bells, one of my most favorite gel polish brands that I used to um, use and it's a brand I began with which is um, it's always going to be a brand I love and I'm just using that to create like the center of the flower which I thought this shade was perfect for and I did do two layers of this just because I felt like it could have popped a little bit more and then I'm just going in with another layer of top coat this is going to be the final layer I didn't decide to add any crystals or anything like that I just wanted to create a simple and I don't know a very nice simple spring look and when I saw this nail design idea I was definitely like I have to do this one so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think should I have added any nail crystals uh, I don't think so I think it's nice like this on its own Of course when you're done finish off with some cuticle oil this is very important you want to kind of put in all that moisture that you kind of just drained out of your skin from um, all that filing and all that rubbing alcohol so just put on some cuticle oil there and massage that in really well But this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I just love how these nails turned out. I love the pink to the clear fade and the flowers are just such a cute touch. So thank you guys so much for watching and coming to my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate you doing that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.